my name is Belinda Morell and I'm the author of the new Lulubelle series. I'm so excited about Lulubelle. This is my cousin Pete's vet hospital at Willoughby. My dad was a vet so when I grew up we actually lived in the vet hospital out of Tarman, just a couple of kilometres away from here. And I had the best childhood. Dad was always bringing home these amazing animals. We had so many pets. We had cats, we had dogs, we had possums, we had a snake, we had ducks, we had little baby calves that we used to teach how to feed. We even had a little baby wallaby called Christabel that used to hop all around the back garden and she used to live in a sack on the back of the kitchen door. It was just the best thing having all those animals. We had so many adventures. We used to help dad in the surgery with operations. We used to go out to farms to help deliver baby calves. And we used to go and rescue um, wildlife that had been injured. So we just had a life that was full of animals and pets and wildlife. It was just fantastic. Lulubelle is a series about a girl called Lulu and she's growing up in a vet hospital. She has quite a zany kind of family. Lulu's creative and she's caring and she's warm and she can be a bit bossy sometimes, a bit like me, um, but she's great and her dad's a vet so they live at the vet hospital. Her mum's an artist, artist so she's very creative and artistic. Lulu has a little sister called Rosie and Rosie's really dreamy and imaginative and she loves wearing angel wings and sparkly thongs and she has a little brother called Gus who is always dressed up as a superhero, normally one called Bug Boy and he can be really naughty and mischievous and cheeky, Gus is so much fun. Um, and the vet hospital of course they have lots of um, pets and animals so they have two dogs called Asher and Jessie and they've got cats and a and bunny and a possum and of course all the animals and wildlife that gets brought into the vet hospital for the dad to treat. Lulu gets, gets to have lots of adventures with them. So of course lots of the stories of what happened to me when I was a child have made their way into Lulu Bell. For example, I used to have a beautiful little pony called Rosie that used to live in our back garden. But if anyone ever left the back door to the kitchen open, of course Rosie would come right into the kitchen and she'd steal our dinner. Um, I can remember coming in and just finding her pushing the saucepan of soup around the kitchen floor and it was all, that was our dinner, it was gone. I think we had to have baked beans on toast that night. We also had lots of cats and sometimes they'd have kittens. And I can remember once our cat had the kittens in the washing machine and I went to throw my washing in the washing machine, opened the lid and there was our cat with six beautiful little kittens in the washing machine on top of the dirty clothes. I could have drowned her. So there were lots of amazing things that happened when I was growing up living in a vet hospital. It was, it was just fantastic. It was the best childhood ever. Well, people do ask me if Lulu is anything like me. And I guess I'm a little bit like Lulu. My sister would say I can be very bossy sometimes, but I'd like to think I'm also warm and caring a bit like Lulu. So yes, she's a lovely character. I really like her. She's warm, fun, creative. She's really a really good friend and she looks after her little brother and her little sister really well. So hopefully I did that sometimes when I was growing up. And of course, like uh, Lulu, I lived in a vet hospital and had lots of great pets. So yes, there's lots of my family and also adventures that my children have have made their way into my books as well. So that's really fun. It has been so much fun to work together with the very talented illustrator Serena Geddes and to watch her bring my characters to life. I absolutely adore her drawings. She's just made Lulu the most gorgeous little girl. She's actually based um, the character of Lulu on photographs of my daughter Emily when she was a bit younger and she's just done the most wonderful job. So we've had lots of fun working together over the months to make the Lulu Bell books. So Serena Geddes is just a fabulous illustrator. So Pete, why did you decide to become a vet? Um, I've always been surrounded by animals and uh, we always had lots of animals at home and I had this uncle, your father, <laughs> which was a vet. <laughs> uncle and, Jerry. Uh, <laughs> and your house was always full of strange animals with kangaroos and dogs and cats and uh, from there I developed a love for animals and I still love animals and I love treating them every day. So what's the strangest animal you've ever treated, Pete? I once had a baby ostrich come in with a, a broken leg and we had to put a plaster cast on the baby ostrich and had to come and get that changed for about six weeks every week till it got better and I'm sure it's running around as a big fluffy ostrich now. So what pets have you got at home Pete? At home we have two dogs, two guinea pigs, five mice, 
goldfish and a turtle. And a turtle. And what about Spike? Well, Spike's my old dog. He was my first pet in a long time. He's 17 years old now and uh, everybody loves Spike because he loves everybody. He lives at the vet hospital now, doesn't he? He lives here because of his special needs. His memory is not very good like an old person and he needs a bit of special care. But here we have lots of vets and nurses and people that pet him all day and he has a fantastic life. These are the first two books in the Lulu Bell series. There's Lulu Bell and the Birthday Unicorn, which is all about Lulu's little sister Rosie and her sixth birthday party. It's a mermaid party. And this is Lulu Bell and the Fairy Penguin, which is all about Lulu having to rescue a little baby fairy penguin or a little penguin that's been injured by a dog. There's also another couple of books coming out in the series. So we have Lulu Bell and the Moon Dragon, which is coming out in August and Lulu Bell and the Cubby Fort, which is also coming out in August. At the moment, I'm writing two new books in the Lulu Bell series. I'm writing Lulu Bell and the Circus Pup and Lulu Bell and the Tiger Cub, which will both be coming out early next year. So I'm really excited about writing those ones, especially the circus story. That'll be fabulous.